Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Real back with yet another reaction. Today, we got to bring somebody to the fire, man. Our boy Tom Brenneman. I don't even know if you know who he is, but Tom Brenneman, longtime announcer of the Cincinnati Reds, is yet another victim of the hot mic, the unknown hot mic. Now, I look for being in media, for being a part of media as small of a career. I could just imagine that if it's my professional full time job where I am mic'd up and I am about to announce or record or do some type of acting, I think it's a number one rule when you mic'd up to just pretend like it is always on. Like whatever you say can be heard. Like that's got to be a rule. And because if you act like somebody can hear you, maybe you won't say the dumb shit. That comes to your head. Now, what do you what what dumb shit? What are you talking about, real? Like what type of dumb shit? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what Tom says. Let's see if we can figure it out from our good old guy, Tom. Hmm. Jesus, Tom. Jesus. Yo, did y'all hear? Oh, my God. Did you hear what this man said? With oomph. He said that shit with vigor. With some effort. He said that shit. Listen to this. I got to hear it again. He said that shit like Rizzo just hit a grand slam or something. Like he he put he put his whole heart and soul into them three letters. Like he said that shit with his chest. His soul, his his mother's soul, his 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 family spirit. God damn. And then just this is the part where he's like, oh, I was on you heard Oh, Red's Live. Like shit, they heard me and uh Wait, how nasty is that? Listen to who he endorsed. Like, he got to read that. Now, I would not. Hey, once you just scream the crazy shit you said, like, look at this. Look at this. You can't. It's like, hey, Tom, we can hear you. He was like, uh, uh, uh. Red's live. No, don't bring Ray Slank. Do not bring Ray St. Clair roofing into your bullshit. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking bring Ray St. Clair roofing. All right, that's how them people feed their family. Don't you bring him into your shenanigans, Tom. The hell is wrong with you, man? God damn, why you had to say that word so hard? Like, he he does not hit. He, he said that shit was some disgust. But you know what? He apologized. I got it. I got the apology. Right? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. He did the, right after he shouted out race, St. Clair roofing. He has an apology. And let's cue up the apology. Here's your boy Tom Brennan in the flesh. In the bigot, just flesh. Just. Do you? As there's a drive into the level. Let me do my job. I was in the middle of an apology. We'll just keep working. Oh. Nah, nah, my guy. Nah, nah. You know you ain't putting his headset. That's a, first off to sit there and apologize for just the nastiness of that word and the disgustingness of the emphasis of just the power you put behind that word. You can't come out here with your apology talking about how you a man of faith and then start announcing a home run like this is this is I can't make this shit up like these are people. As a man of faith. As there is a drive into deep left field. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that defeat. He is, that's over. It's over. Listen to that defeat. Listen, when, when he says, I don't, I, I, I fucked up. That's like, it's like, 
It's like when you, like if you cheat on your girl and then the used condom is right there in the bed, like what, what you gonna say? What you gonna do? Nigga, you been fucking in our bed? You can go, I, 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 uh, I'm never gonna fuck you again, I guess. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be in that ass. I don't know when I'm gonna slap them cheeks. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be with you, if it's gonna be with the other chick. Uh, it was a one night stand. Like, bruh, it's a wrap. You ain't putting that fucking headset back on. Are you insane? Hey, damn sure ain't finna be for the Reds. Now the, uh, now the boss is at Fox. I don't know. Fox is a nasty, nasty organization. So who knows, man? They might bury him for a year or two until the vaccine come out and then bring Tom's voice on back out here. But uh, that was that was a nasty display of bigotry, man. Shame on you, Tom. And just fucking stupid. Like, who was he even talking to? Like, when do you have, what what conversation what conversations does that even come up in? One of the F capitals of the world. Like, what? Like, who are you talking? Like, that's not even workplace conversation. Like, that's no place conversation, really. But you at the gig, bro. Like. Mic'd up, say nonetheless. Like I don't know, man. Whatever's coming Tom's way, that's bad. That's professional, non-threatening. Like I don't want no physical harm to come to this man, but he is just deserving. He just got to wrap it up, man. That's he. He's gonna go home and be like, "What in the fuck was I thinking?" <sighs> but. Till next time, man, make sure if y'all fuck with this, man, subscribe, like, you know what to do, man. Only if you like it, though. Only if you like it. Don't give me your bullshit, fake-ass subscriptions and fake-ass likes, all right? Don't just fuck with me if you like the shit, all right? But I love you. I'm out.